Mm. How doing? Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. And I'll, again, I'll call on you in groups of two. Let's start with uh, Jake Rowe, followed by Dean Leggy. Nick, what was it that allowed you guys to kind of turn it around? They got off to a really fast start, but then you guys kind of dominated uh, for two and a half quarters there. What was it that allowed you to do that? It was um, at the beginning of the week, Coach Lennon um, – Showed a, a show plays where we kind of like we kind of bend it and we uh and they and teams hit a big shot on us and how we was able to uh take that and like basically go against adversity and uh and basically turn it turn the momentum around in our favor. So uh, him showing us that just kind of reminded us that we've been doing it all year, all season, and everything. That's kind of what we've been uh working towards. So. It wasn't. It was. It was. It was nothing just to get, just to do it. Kobe, I wanted to ask about the last touchdown. I don't know if you were on the field or not. Uh, what was your reaction after Tennessee scored to get seventeen? You know, it, it, it's always frustrating for a team to score. Uh, definitely for our defense. This is the most points we didn't gave up this season. So, me personally, just knowing how hard I am on myself and how uh, much of a standard I hold for this defense. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not. Uh, I'm not happy about that touchdown, but but also it was a great team win. I love the way our guys fought. Uh, coaches had a game plan. He made sure we stayed to it, and and I can't I can't complain about that. Let's go to Connor Riley, followed by Tyler Griffith. Hey, hey Channing. All right, sorry, right, sorry Nakobe. Uh, Channing Tindall had three sacks today. How just important is to what he does for you guys defensively? Oh, it's very important. You know. Um, he he had his job. They gave him his job uh, at the beginning uh, of the of the week, and he just and everybody uh, everybody took it in and and basically took that job as their own. So uh, him just being able to come out here and uh, and and perform, you know, I'm I'm super proud of him. You know, we how we happy for each other anytime we make a play. So it, you know, it's great to have that that type of guy on the field and doing that. Talk about the feeling on the sideline after Tennessee went down and scored that touchdown early, um, and also how what adjustments were made, if any. Uh, the feeling on the sideline it wasn't down at all. You know, it was it was always a shake back mentality. Okay, we got points. What are we gonna do uh, to to get back? You know, uh, it, it was never it was never a down moment on the sideline where we just where we just were beating each other. So and then what? What was the second question? Adjustments that we all made on the defense. Oh, adjustments. Um, it, it, it wasn't really too many uh, adjustments. You know, um, coaches did a great job uh, practicing fastball and everything this this uh, this week. You know, we did a great job practicing, but you know they, they that's what they do. They uh, go fast, and and we just had to basically just get get that first little that first little drive out of our system, but. Uh yeah, we 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 trying to push to start fast and finish even fast. Let's go to Catherine Lewis, followed by Jed May. Hey, um, just kind of reflecting on this season so far, I wanted to ask you about your thoughts going undefeated in the SEC this season. Something Georgia hasn't done in a long time, and this team really seemed to kind of plow through um, their conference schedule. You know, it's um, it's always good to come to something like that. You know, um, a couple of my teammates might beat me up for saying this, but you know, uh, that I it, it kind of means nothing to me. It, it's towards the end of the season. You know, we gotta keep on winning. So that's that's my my focus. So by the end of the season, if uh, we do what we're supposed to do, then then I'll be satisfied and you know have much gratitude towards that. So, but it's it's always great to get that type of win and you know uh, go undefeated in the SEC. Yeah, Nicole, you mentioned that Coach Landing showed y'all some plays where, you know, you banked but didn't break and you took the momentum back, you know, however you said it. What were some of those plays tonight where you felt like y'all really took momentum back when it was kind of up for grabs? Uh, you know, uh, they, they were able to get in the red zone a lot uh, with with a lot of shot plays. You know, it wasn't with a lot of explosive pay, plays, I would say. So, I feel like if we would have took a lot of them explosive plays out, um, the game probably would be a little different. Uh, but – you know they was able they did a good job they uh 
great team at uh, creating explosive plays. We knew that going in the game. And, they, you know, they did a good job of showing what they do. I mean, doing what they do. Okay, one more question. We'll go to Palmer Tums. And then, Nico, we wanted to ask about someone on the other side of the ball. Uh, James Cook tied his career high rushing total tonight. Uh, you know, as someone who practices against him each week, you know, is that something that you guys felt like that was a big, big game like this was coming from him? Yeah, of course. You know, all them type of guys, you know, I got to go against James Cook. I've been going against him since I've been here. And, you know, I know what type of play he is in in the rushing game and in the passing game, you know, how uh, versatile he is and uh, how much of a mismatch he can be on on even uh, DBs even. So for him to have the type of game he had, it just wasn't surprising for me. You know, it wasn't surprising to me at all. You know, uh, all them all them running backs, the whole uh, O-line, everybody work hard. The tight ends, so they block great today. Uh, so they all work hard to uh, block in practice and everything. You know, uh, if, on Bloody Tuesday, we have team runs. So it wasn't a surprise at all that he had that type of game. Hey, Nakobe, thanks for your time.